Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Well, it is Thursday, so happy Thanksgiving. Uh, just wanted to come on here real quick. Golly, the hair looks like a bus of can of biscuits, y'all. <laughs> it's getting super thin. I uh, took it down from the ponytail because I have it always in a ponytail and it split my ends. My hair was down to about here and it just kind of... Anyway, enough about the hair. We always know it's a bus of can of biscuits. <laughs> Just want to come on real quick and wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're having a good one, even if some of y'all can't have loved ones around you for whatever reason that is. Uh, the kid and I will be spending the afternoon with um, my family. We're going to have it at my nephew's house. He really has the only space big enough to accommodate the large family that we've amassed. Uh, got a surprise. My uncle is down visiting. Uh, usually he'll call ahead of time, but he called my mom and said, hey, come pick me up. I'm at the bus station. So we're like, what? <laughs> and Tuesday we had the pulled pork tacos, and that's when I found out. So he's been here since Tuesday. I walked in the door, and there he was. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> Always nice to see him. Uh, and my niece uh, from NOLA is down with her family. I know that, you know, we did a video together. So she's down. She posted some pictures. She's already... Um, uh, at my mom's house, they're doing a few things together. So uh, we haven't started on the corn or carrots. It's not a cook all day type of thing. So uh, we'll be getting that together pretty pretty soon. Just trying to wake up with my coffee. Y'all, the kid loved the mugs. She thought they were really, really super cute. So success in that. Um I want to catch you up on everything that's been going on because afterwards I was thinking, hey, man, I should have told them. Um, Mr. Functified Dude from the uh, gym, apparently they talked to him because like the next day or two days later, I went and there the guy was. And so the lady that also has fibromyalgia, I uh, called her over and I explained to her what I saw. And she goes, so you're the one. And I'm like, what? She said that she had come in to work out and all the younger ones had run up to her and said, oh, we don't know what to do. And I guess the guy was still there after I left. They pointed him out. So she said she wanted to talk to manager and see if she was allowed to say anything. She said, as a paying uh, member, I could have said something. And I explained to her why and she said she understood. So he was on the treadmill at the time. So he said, she said, when he gets off the treadmill, I'll talk to him. And then I went into the room to get a massage and when I came out he was gone so hopefully and then I would have been at least one time since then and um he wasn't there there either so I hope I didn't run him off I just wanted him to wipe crap down right <laughs> so um oh there's so many things I want to say oh if you notice um and it said that I was eligible now what makes me eligible I I don't know uh because there's a lot more people with more views than me. Uh, and I haven't seen anybody post. But that community tab, if y'all didn't know, there's a community tab when you go to my channel and you click on it. And I can post things on there. And so if y'all don't want to Insta, because I, I really, I've been, since I got eligible, I've been posting more on there than my Instagram. Uh, just check that every now and again. That's basically the kind of, I would have said crap. Because I do a lot of memes and stuff that um, I post on Facebook. Um, I do a lot of political political memes. Probably half my Facebook people have hidden hidden me so they don't see them all. And I will probably not post those on <laughs> on my YouTube. Uh, I try to avoid those kind of subjects, but uh, for the most part, what I post on Facebook. Whatever you see on the community tab is more than likely I've put it on my Facebook. So I will be using that as often as I think. I think it's kind of fun. So you kind of see a little inside of some of my humor. <laughs> some of it's dark. I want to warn you. <laughs> uh, but I've been meaning to talk about that. Like I said, it just came up. It said you are now eligible for using the community tab. Uh, so I'm really kind of excited about that. Uh Probably won't answer a lot of comments on that one. I'll heart it to let you know that I read it. Um, 
The quilt project is finally with the quilter. I've got to meet with her on Friday one more time uh, before I pick it up. Uh, so really excited. I'm hoping I can get it to Mrs. Sarge by the weekend is, is what I'm hoping. Um, on Friday also, uh, I'm not going to say who it is because I'm not sure if she wants anyone to know right now. Maybe she's embarrassed that she wants to meet me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm actually doing a meetup with a viewer who is in town visiting relatives for the holidays. And the last time she was really close to my area, uh, she had mentioned being here. And I'm like, oh, man, you should have said something. We could have met up, met up for coffee. And so uh, we will be meeting up in uh, Sarge's town for a cup of coffee. So uh, that'll be really fun to meet her and... Uh, I might film a little bit if she doesn't mind, or at least take some uh, selfies with her uh, and put them in the community section of, uh, of you, the, my, my channel. That's provided she allows that. Okay, y'all see me all the time, but I'm not sure about her. Uh, so I'm really kind of excited to meet a viewer face to face. Um, I think that's it. I really want to apologize. I told you I would really super try to get a mukbang out yesterday, and it did not happen. Um, just, y'all, I followed this. supposed to be a happy, happy post, so I'll just talk about it real briefly. But this is also a fibro channel. And sometimes you get really excited. Y'all warriors can relate. You start feeling better, you know, you start doing more things. And even though I really have come to terms with having fibromyalgia because I adjust my life to having it, you know, but when you start feeling pretty good, you know, I started to think, well, maybe it's not fibro. Maybe it's all I needed to do was lose a little weight. All I needed to do was move more. All I needed to do was get my diabetes under control. And, uh, and then, you know, that's that's what the problem was. They're wrong. It's not. And then something happens and boom, you're like, no, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> so right now I am kind of battling a flare. I'm sure y'all noticed in the last video that I posted um, the haul from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. Y'all, I could not think of the word Dollar Tree. And that's the fog. Hmm, excuse me. So um, just kind of battling that. So I'm going to take a step away from the gym for a few days and just kind of reset myself. And it happens. And that is the pitfalls, you know. And any, the moment that's a lot of us do it, the moment you feel good, you do too much that day. And then, you know, your body says, no, bitch, you're going to sit your butt down. <laughs> so that's where I am right now. Um so I'm really trying to work towards doing more videos. I appreciate, you know, everybody says they have great subscribers, but I do really have an awesome YouTube uh, family. I really do. Y'all are understanding, you know, you watch my videos when they come up and my comments are so positive and that's what I want, a very positive channel. Um, and so you forgive me when I can't film and I really appreciate that. And y'all could bounce and unsubscribe to me and you don't and I really appreciate that I really do um so and I know I'm gonna forget something the second I oh <laughs> uh, as far as uh the dogs go you know I've been really frustrated the kids been really frustrated and uh so uh you know we're getting really close to saying maybe we might have to rehome two out of the three but uh, with little man, we were trying a new technique. He doesn't like it, but we're putting him in the kennel when we're not home. Uh, I shut my door during the day. We're every four or five hours, we're letting them out to go to the restroom. And then at night, uh, the kid's taking little man to bed with her. And the reason being, he needs help to get up there. And he needs help getting down. And so because he can't get down, he has to hold it uh, until the morning. And she does get up early to go to work. So she'll take him out 
and he'll go to the restroom and then she'll put him in the kennel until I get up. And if it hasn't been four or five hours between the time she's let them out and I get up, I don't let them out. Uh, that's been the norm is where as soon as I get up, they go out again. And so, so far where, let's see, since Thursday to right now, now watch me jinx it. <laughs> We've had no accidents in the house. So, uh, you know, with a human, 23 days of doing the same thing puts you in the habit that you'll always do it or something like that. Hopefully it's the same with him so we're gonna try it all the way up until she leaves sometime in january i don't know exactly when because you know with her job you just never know uh so um but supposed to so hopefully by the time she goes uh he will already be trained that uh he won't go in the house the one thing that will not change is him being kenneled uh, when I leave, if I have to go somewhere, he will be put in there just so he stays in that kind of, excuse me, that kind of a habit. So things are looking up. The last time that um, Big Dog, which is why we're getting frustrated, is he hasn't clawed off the blankets. I keep two baskets of sitting on the couch to block her from having enough room to claw off the blankets and claw off the pillows and you say well fluffy that's not a big deal but it is because this is a brand new couch and there's already two kind of tears in it from her claws so that's why it's uh frustrating but the last time remember i told you at the hall that she did that and uh i got her with the newspaper i know some i don't want to hear anything it's my dogs i didn't maim her she's not afraid of me but last time I whacked her about that, I forgot to put one of the baskets up. And when I got home, nothing was tore up on the couch. So I don't know if it's helping that she doesn't have little man to help her get up there. And that's why she gets excited because they play around and fight while I'm gone or we're gone. But that has helped too. So maybe disciplining him is helping discipline her because she hates the kennel too. And she has yet to be put in her kennel, which has been in the garage. Uh, so uh, she's like, oh, no, shit, I better straighten up or I'm going in there, too. <laughs> but success in, in that, for sure. Uh, I think that's it. I, I think I've honestly told you everything I need to tell you. So... Um, Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Uh, really, I mean that. I hope everybody's really having a Thanksgiving. If you already celebrated it because some families, you know, you have to accommodate your family. Uh, I hope it was a good one. God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I've heard some stories on my comments that y'all are sticking up for yourself like especially in your doctor visits. And I'm glad you don't have to be ugly to stand your ground. You know, always try to be kind. You don't have to be ugly, but you can get what you want, right? Okay. I love y'all. Bye.